I like to say I'm not a typical female rapper, because I'm not. And um, I do hip-hop, but I also do not-so-typical hip-hop beats. Like, I would go over a Taylor Swift joint any day, or, like, something real out of this world, like some dub stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Cause I don't want to be, like, just like everybody else, every other rapper. I want to um, have my own lane. So, yeah, that's basically what my kind of hip-hop is. Mm -hmm. It's lyrical, too. Can't forget that. It's lyrical. All right, so so you're talking about something in your music. Exactly, exactly. Not no jibba jabba dumb down stuff. <laughs> nah, nah, none of that. And you're from D.C., right? Yeah, Southeast to be exact. Southside. <laughs> <laughs> all righty, all righty. And I'm sure that has also influenced your music somewhat, too, yeah, would you say? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I would say, like, life around D.C. itself, because I don't just stay in one place. Like, especially when I'm working and doing shows, I always see, like, the nightlife or, you know, a lot of stuff going around. I try to incorporate it into my rhymes and, like, just everything I write about or incorporate in my art, not just my music, but like my paintings as well. So yeah. As well, we're gonna have yeah, to get you to elaborate uh -huh. on that one. <laughs> I mean, I dabble in it, you know. Actually, I'm gonna be giving away one of my original pieces this Thursday at the release party, so you gotta be there to check it out. But yeah, I'm into that too, not just music. That's dope, that's real dope. Thank so, you. So who would you say inspired you then, not just to make music, but to make art, you can take it any direction you want to. Um, who, uh, I guess, let me see, it's a lot of different influences. I would say one of the top influencers are uh, CeeLo, he's, oh, I love him, he's out of this world. Um, Outkast, you know, Andre, Big Boy, let's see, Little Dragon, um, even artists like John, Mich John, what's his name? Basquiat, that's his last name, but he's a, a famous artist, he died when he was um, very, very young. Uh, Andy Warhol, anything dealing with art basically influences me. Okay. Yeah. I have a question. One of my favorite bands is Little Dragon. So, what's uh, your favorite Little Dragon song? Uh, my favorite Little Dragon song is this song called Wildfire. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm so in love what, with that song. What got you kind of hip to them? Like, I've never heard anybody even <laughs> listen to Little Dragon before. Like, never. You know what? It probably was a Pandora station I was on. Really? Yeah, I love Pandora. They introduced me to so many different new mm -hmm. artists and new people, and I love it. So, probably Pandora. Yeah. Are there any, um, I guess, traits from them? Because they're, they're very different. Mm -hmm. they, they incorporate a lot of genres. They do. One. Are there any traits from them that you kind of incorporate into your music and that you would like to? Well, um, I would definitely love to have a band. Mm -hmm. I don't have a band, so that's one aspect that I really, really would love to have. Because it, it just adds that much more to a um, performance or to like a song in general. And I like how, I've never seen them live, but I've seen the videos. Mm -hmm. And the lead singer, I always forget her name, but she just brings so much energy to her performance, and I love it. Yeah, she Absolutely. has such a soulful voice. She and does. She's <laughs> Swedish, and, Swedish and Japanese, y'all. Yeah, and, she and sounds she's gorgeous. Like, she is gorgeous. Like Jill Scott, almost. Mm -hmm. like, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's crazy. I love it. No, Make really sure y'all check her out. She is on the yeah. Little Dragon. Get hip to that. Yes, please, please. <laughs> I don't mind I don't have any clean Little Dragon to play. Cause that would be <laughs> yeah, I feel, feel lost. Way. Yeah. You never heard a little have, dragon? Nah, y'all just having your own little conversation, <laughs> your own little world. True. <laughs> we can get on into our world. Come on. Okay, all right, all right. Maybe I have to show out the show. But I want you to kind of tell the people like how yes. like how you got started, how long you've been rapping. Um okay. the rundown. Well, actually, I started rapping when I was in my freshman year at VCU. Um, the guy I was dating at the time, he and his friends used to, you know, write and uh, rap or whatever. And so it was one day I sat down with them. And he said, you know what, go ahead and write something. So I wrote something and, you know, recorded it and they thought it was tight. So I said, mm, I guess I'll do another song. So that song was my first mixtape, which is called um, Studio 1206. And that dropped in 08. And that's one of five or six mixtapes now so you know it is time for an ep so but um that's what started my whole rapping and i just kept i grew more in love with the performance and just writing itself and being able to express myself so that's why i just kept going with it is it crazy you went to vcu yeah that's why i had that virginia <laughs> association uh, that's where i started doing my shows in virginia okay yeah because i remember i think seeing press releases or something uh -huh. right ahead to vcu did you, you started when you were in college. Yes. How was it balancing being an artist and a student at the same time? Because I know we probably have a lot of listeners that uh -huh. are in that boat or want to be in that boat. Right. Um, it was kind of hard because, like, I didn't really have any equipment. I had a little setup in my closet. I had, you know, a mic, yeah. some software or whatever. And, like, when I didn't have any work to do or, you know, any exams to study for, I would just go in there and record. And, yes, it was hard because 
I would want to just continue with it like all night or all week long, but I couldn't because, you know, I had papers to do and everything else. So it became kind of hard, but at the end of the day, it's persistence and dedication. So if I just stuck to it, I just kept going with it. And it became easier as I kept doing it. And you put out three mixtapes while you were in college? Yeah, um, Studio 706, uh, Check the Rhyme, From the Planet of the Greats, uh, what's up? It's so much. It's I can't think of the other ones, but yeah, like basically five to six, six from college. Yeah, that's that's crazy though. That's mm -hmm. that's, that's mm -hmm. recent. Yeah, they're recent. So Fresh I think mixtape. actually we're gonna go ahead and take a quick break. Okay. We're gonna play a song since the CeeLo is one of her. Yeah. It's we're gonna play CeeLo <laughs> featuring Melanie Fiona. Oh, we're gonna come moment. back in the mix with L Max. We'll talk a little L, bit baby. more about the upcoming project that she's dropping with the least body. Have some fun. We get we all know we always play a game when it when so we're gonna have some fun with her. But <laughs> make sure y'all stay tuned, WCFM College Park 88.1. Let's get into it. Hey Jones. You got this one? Hey Jones. We got um Garvey's gonna call in at 7.30. So oh, okay, okay. We can uh we can wrap up. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Or, I mean, or we can ask him, we ask him like, 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 like five minutes and uh, yeah, let me... Yo. 